Hi there guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois for those of you who don't know me. If you're new here, warm warm welcome to you. For my returning subscribers, my day one, my G's, thank you for coming back and spending some time with your girl on this haul today. Now today I've got a Poundland haul for you and it's all about what is brand new for March. Right, so before we get into all of that guys, oh did I say, guys, you know we're on the road to 3,000, don't you? Yes, road to 3,000. Ta-da, jazz hands. And I just want to ask for your help, your sincere push to get us to that goal. Because the good thing about it, guys, when you comment and when you subscribe, YouTube recognizes the engagement and the algorithms pick it up. So it means that, okay, these guys must be enjoying the channel. Let's push it out a bit more. So I'm really about just trying to grow the family, get the channel to be bigger, and just so that we can become a bigger family because I'm all about sharing. What, whatever I see, I'm going to bring it to you and show you. So guys, please don't forget to click and subscribe and put on your notifications button so every time I release a video, you will be the first to know. So before we get into the haul, let's do candle of the day. So today we've got um, a really nice, white, simple candle, quite elegant, quite nice. And this one is called Rose and Oud. And it's a double wick candle, as you can see. But this is, this is a little bit of a naughty candle, guys. It's a bit naughty. It doesn't burn straight. So, you know, sometimes you've got like the candle lids you can put on top. The candle lids I've seen don't really fit this kind of size. But you can always put some foil around it anyway. You know what, rather than me going through all that, um, let me link the video up below where I've explained all to you about candle care and tips. If you want to click on it, it's entirely up to you. But this candle's a little bit naughty, it needs some help. But this one, I bought this from, now I can't remember which shop, because when I bought this a little while ago, all the shops were doing these kind of Joe Malone lookalike type of candles. You had B&M, Home Bargains, Asda, everybody, everybody was jumping on the bandwagon. But I either bought this from Asda, or I bought it from B&M, and it's about a fiver. So, um, yeah, very nice, elegant white candle, and I just love it when it just sits there and dances with a double flame. Really, really cute. So that's our candle of the day today. All right. So let's get into this haul. Now, I went into Poundland to pick up some essential items when I was out shopping, picking up my other bits, and when I got my essential items, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take a gander around the store. If I'm in here already, why am I going to just walk to the, the, the toilet paper section and pick up my bleach and walk out again? Ah, oh, hello. No. I'm going to have a little look around because I just want to go once, go home. That's it. Call it a day. It's a wrap. Yeah. So it's in two halves, guys. I've got my first half is the little bits that I picked up in store. Um, Non-essential items, but items all the good for the season that we're in. And I also picked up some home items, which I'll show you straight afterwards. So, yeah. We've got a little friend today, and it's not Diego. Uh-uh, mm-mm. Uh my girl, my, I was gonna say my girl. My man is in time out. Not allowed in recording with Lois. But we do have Tigger, who is, um, if you hear any kind of a prop prop or cheering or whatever she does, yeah, she's down there next to me. So um she's the cool she's the cool one. But if you see a tail walking by like that, <laughs> that's probably what she, that's her. That's that's what she does. Just gets her tail in your face every five minutes. But anyway, I digress. Let me get on with the Poundland stuff. So the first thing I picked up in Poundland um was this tea cup and saucer set. Doesn't it remind you of a carousel? This is so nice. But this wasn't your pound item. This is came in at three pounds because you are getting the tea and um, the saucer set. They also had it in like a baby blue as well. The baby blue is really cute. Um, this could be given as even, do you know what? This could be like some sort of um, christening present, part of a christening parcel. You know, this could be for mum, you know, because she's, she's done some hard work and she needs to have a cup of tea. You get me? So, yeah. <laughs> or this is a Mother's Day. Great Mother's Day item. So, Whatever you want to do with it, guys. Really, really nice and quite sturdy as well. So that came in at three pounds. The other thing that I picked up in there, well, I was this. This is really going foodie. 
But I just thought it's all part, it's all quite nice that you put it with like the Mother's Day stuff. So say for example, you had your teacup and you had like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So that's why I'm showing you this next. This is just a box of jelly beans and it's just nice as a decorative item to go um, as like a Mother's Day kind of thing. So that was a pound and there are strawberry flavour jelly beans. So that's really cute. Um, the other thing I picked up in there, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. They've got the wooden trays, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this tray is lovely. Really, really nice. Now, the thing is with this tray, it's um, the bottom here is not as strong as the outer shell of the tray. So I wouldn't really put heavy things on here. This is really just about probably bringing breakfast in bed, a light breakfast. Do not be humping bricks on this. Just put like a light breakfast or some toast or something. Or you know, Pamela had the little um, toaster thing that I showed you last time. You put that on with a cup of tea. This will be fine for that. But it's not the kind of tray that can take a lot of weight, I would say. But nonetheless, guys, it's a nice tray. And this came in at three pounds. It says two on the back of this. Because remember I said to you, I gave you a little tip. When it says a number on the back, that's the price. They got this one wrong. Um, when I did query at the till, um, they said it's three pounds. So this is actually three pounds, guys, this tray. But they had this in the white wood. And they had it in like the natural brown, the light brown wood. So yeah, these trays are really, really nice, guys. So yeah, that's lovely. The other thing I saw in there was um, that I've brought you the small one before, the small the small plates, and they have the large ones that came back. When I was in there um, recently, these large ones have gone. I saw these in January, but in January, I was not looking at um, heart-shaped stuff or pink stuff. I was just looking at other stuff. <laughs> but now they've got the large ones. They have got the spotty ones as well, but they didn't have it in that day when I went but they've got the small ones to this and they've got the large. This is the large one. And in the small ones, as I showed you in my other video, I'll link it up above um, so you can see the other size plates. But this one is really, really nice. And you know what I've noticed? Pamela are getting quite smart and savvy. They brought these heart plates out for Valentine's and they've re brought them back for Mother's Day. Ah, uh, hello, double bubble. So, you, if you're quite frugal in terms of how you, although you shouldn't be giving the same thing to your mother as you're giving to your partner. Hello. Uh-uh. But you can still go and buy another one for your mother if you wanted to, or for your loved one, or for whoever. Yeah. So this is our pound, guys. Love this plate. Goes nicely on the white tray as well. And also, um, I'm telling you, part Poundland are really stepping up. Guys, they've got like flowers they're doing now. Now, I saw, I saw this, like, lovely flower. If I show you from that way. What is this, a sunflower? I think it's a sunflower. But it's got a very long stem. I mean, I'm going to cut that. But what I wanted this for is that the, um, the tray, I'm going to actually use the tray to um dress my rooms you know for, my, for the day job so i'm gonna use it to dress room so when you put like the flower the tray um a cup and saucer on it it kind of dresses your rooms nicely so or you could even dress your bedroom that way if you wanted to or if you wanted to serve breakfast in bed to mum or you could even put a flower on the tray as well. guys so many ideas there's so much things you could do it just adds that final you know touch to it so yeah these were um these were a pound as well. They had them in like a pink rose. They had the... Oh, no. Oh, hell no. No. Listen, this better fix back, you know, otherwise we're going to have problems. Oh, thank God for that. Look. <laughs> I broke it. That's all right, yeah. I'm not having a very good couple of days, am I? I think, guys, all you need to do... Because I'm going to pull it off again. Let's... Oh, no, no, that... Oh my, you know what? Super glue. That's all I'm going to put on these guys is some super glue on the inside, super glue on that side, and then get these fixed. Because it may be, it's a little, <laughs> I'm just not having a good day, am I? Let's just, let's just move on.
Move on with that flower. It's nice, but it needs some help, guys. It needs a little bit of work. But for a pound, what can I say? Because I've seen, actually, um, stems like that in the range for, like, a fiver. Yeah. At Christmas, I saw stems like that for a fiver in the range. So, um, yeah. Next thing I picked up in there. Now, I saw this and I thought, I didn't know that Easter trees were a thing. Can you, I don't know if you can see it, but should I put it sideways in there? This is a Easter tree. Did you know that Easter trees are a thing? So I said to myself, I know we're <laughs> at the point where we want good news and we just want to celebrate and be happy and because it's been such a kind of weird time for us. But I actually Googled it and this is some information you might not care to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. The Germans actually are the ones that celebrate with trees and that's where the tradition comes from. They actually celebrate and they put all eggs on the trees and that's how they celebrate Easter. And it stems as a tradition from Germany. There you go. Some information for you. Don't say I don't give you anything. And while we're there, I saw the eggs to go with it as well. And look, you've got the little eggs. So what I'm going to do, guys, afterwards, I'm going to dress this tree and then I'm going to put a picture in. And then you can see what it looks like dressed. But... Yeah, if you want something for the children, and um, I don't know why I bought this because I ain't got no babies <laughs> or no young children, but I still like the idea of it. And I just thought, let me bring it to the channel and show you because I thought, I need to show my guys. Do they know anything about a blue tree and eggs? But hey, it's an Easter thing, is it? The other thing I saw in there as well, they had these little sort of bowl, what was it? Bowl heme? I don't know what it's called, but mm, these little pots of flowers, don't you think that's cute? And they've got the little eggs in there as well. Look. And they've got like an egg up there as well, another egg up there. And just a lovely little pot of flowers. Now, the paper doesn't come off. That's all part of the style, the design. But I think this is so cute and for a pound as well. And if you're going to put, you know, bring like the tray up to, you know, to mum for breakfast, you can put this on the side of the tray. Yeah. Or put this on your windowsill when you're decorating, you know, around the time and you want to put your little eggs out and stuff. And these are lovely. I think this is really cute. Do you think so? I do. I think they're cute. So in terms of staying in with the style of Mother's Day or gifting, I saw these. These are lovely candles. Now, I'm telling you something, you know. Powerland, that's just like a Powerland candle to you. They had another one called Jasmine. That's more of a bluey colour. But this one is Passion Flowers Scented Candle. And I'm telling you, it smells really nice. You pull the top off like that. And that's your candle inside. And this is really nice. This does not smell like, you go, you kind of cheap candle. This actually smells really nice. Now, I wouldn't tell you. It smells nice if it didn't. This smells, this is worth a pound. Guys, if you can get that and stock up on that, that could stock up for birthdays to come throughout the year. This is lovely. Passion flowers. Really, really, and it matches my nails. Hello. Lovely. So when you're making up like your Mother's Day gift, is that something you want to do? These are great to do it. The other thing I saw in there is um, this. Totally tangy tangerine this smells lush smells lovely this is really really nice and what i've noticed with um poundland does that look like a pound look at the label in the packaging it resembles um another high street that does these kind of products not saying any names but don't you think but this is really really nice and they've got another one they've got a strawberry one as well but the strawberry one is a shower gel it's like a, a shower gel kind of thing and they also had um, this cream. And I looked at the back and there's no parabens. They've got the other things in it, but there's no parabens in this one. And this one is Coconut Shy Body Lotion. And that is really nice. So if you look at the pair, the way they look, guys, they just look really stylish, really nice. You would not think this is from Poundland. I'm just bringing you the goods, guys, so you can get an idea. Really, really nice. And I picked this up as well. Now, this is your luxury 
calming milk bath and it's like a milk powder for your bath so i can let me actually it says relaxing spa fragrance so i haven't opened it and i'm a little bit afraid to now because i've shaken it a little bit i hope it doesn't all go psh, like the powder puff in your face do you know what i mean let's have a oh no it's sealed okay let's try and i can't smell anything guys but maybe it doesn't smell maybe actually you can smell it when it hits the water Hold on, I'm going to open it for you. Oh. This. Listen. Have you ever been to a spa day? Many of you have. I bet you have. Have you ever been to the spa day? And as you walk in the spa, it's got the, um, the um, smells of like the... Um, what are they called? What are they called? Oh, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to write it down below. But you know the smell when you walk in and you've got all the essential essential oils smell? You know when you got you walk in, you've got the smells, it's lovely, it's spa-like. Hello. That is this in the form of calming milk bath. So I suspect the powder turns into a kind of a milk form once you put... This is nice. This is definitely a present. Definitely a present. Really, really nice. Wow, I'm telling you, Poundland will, will save you money. The other thing I liked is this. I've seen this a few times. And every time I've gone there, I've looked at it and I thought, I like that. And I keep saying, no, I'm not going to pick it up. No, I'm not going to pick it up. No, I'm not going to pick it up. And this time I picked it up. Yeah, I, I, I said it. I said it. I picked it up. But do you remember when I was doing my, um, what was it? The um, Amazon buys. Yeah, my Amazon buys video. I linked that up above as well if you want to know what I'm talking about. And I was saying to you about, you know, there was a certain grid in there that had shelves and you put little succulents on it. This is what I had in mind when I was saying it to you guys. It's, it's a nice little, and it's got all like the stones at the top and it's only a pound. And this is so cute. I think this is really nice. It's like a bohemian kind of style. Really, really nice. I love this. I think it's not bohemian, Aztec. I apologise to people who are thinking, Lois, what the hell are you talking about? I'm an Aztec. <laughs> That's what I meant. So, guys, yeah, let's get back on track. So, this is lovely. This is the sort of thing I would put on shelves, especially if you want to get some sort of, like, greenery into your rooms. This is a way to go. And it's only a pound. Or it's great for the bathroom. Small little objects in the bathroom. That would be kind of cute, don't you think? Uh, the other thing I saw in there, which is quite cute, is um, it's a sweetheart type of, um, it's just a little ornament, really. And that's cute. That could also be put on the tray as well. You can, a lot of things, by the time I finish, you're going to have a lot of things on this tray. <laughs> but this is lovely. This can go on a windowsill. It can go in a, a child's bedroom. Or it can go anywhere you want it to. It's that kind of sign. Yeah. So that was lovely as well. Right, now, moving across to the foods. But before I go to the foods, you know, you know, that as soon as I went to the counter, they done the bag trick on me again. I, every time I go, I get caught with a bag trick. And it says, one of a kind. The minute I see some sort of logo or some sort of um, word in that I can associate with it, I'm a, I'm a sucker for it. One of a kind. That's what I am. And that's what you are. So, it is a one of a kind bag. And... Of course. Always fabulous. Hello. Again, pound each at the checkout. And I tell you, every time, every time they catch me with their bags, every time, I am going to now start carrying my own bags and they can't catch me. But then you know what? I actually did carry my own bags. I actually carried this one. This is one I've showed you ages ago. I carried that one and I still end up buying those two. So what is the point? Anyway, let's move on. To the foodie items. Uh, before we go on to the food items, I did pick these up as well. I picked up myself a new um, things to do pad because I am running out. And um, yeah, I do like these. It's on the inside. It looks like that. So you've got your list of things to do for the day that you can put down there. And you've got your priority and your goals at the side as well. So your priorities there and your goals. And your list of things to do. And it actually gives it, it um, 
you can kind of go down and put it in number four. You've got your date in there as well. So that's just a to-do book, which I picked up as well for a pound. Also, I put myself up a gold pen. I think I've shown you this before, where it's got the glitter in the in the top. So if you turn it upside down, it becomes a glitter pen in the, in the top. Let's bring it closer so you can see it. Yeah. Now, I do love this, but only because it's the um, rose gold. Yeah. So there's that. Right, in terms of foodie, let's move to foodies. Um, picked myself up some Pringles in there. And um, the only reason I picked this up because I was in a very long queue and they were in front of me at the counter and they said, pick me up, pick me up. Movie night. So I did. I obliged. 50p each. I thought I'll get myself a couple of those. So we've got those. Picked myself up some uh, crisps, some bacon, Walker's crisps. And that was a pound... Oh my gosh, this is a four pack. I thought this was a six pack. I am not impressed. This is a four pack. Let's move on. No, Tigger, please, please do not move the camera. Do you know, I just think it's going to be one of those days. Oh, you're sitting down. Oh, good girl. She's actually just sitting down there. Let's get back on with their food. That's because she thinks it's cat food. Right, so I picked myself up a club, and that's um, seven bars in there. Oh, I thought it was six. So you see, you, they take away in some, and they give you back in others. <laughs> right, I also picked myself up a six pack of uh, snack. And uh, yep, yeah, those came in at a pound as well. Now, I haven't seen these before, but again, they put these at the till when you're waiting in a long queue. So I thought, okay, let's try it. And this is um, Orange Smarties. I've never had that before. So yeah, thought I'd try a bit of that. Uh, what else? Got myself a Jaffa cake for the family. And this is a 36 pack. So you basically got three, um, three Jaffa cake packs in there. But this was actually for two pounds for this. So um, that's not a bad price as well. Got myself some toilet roll, which is in, always in need. Always like to stock up. So even if I'm not running low, I like just to get extras because this is one thing you don't want to run out of. Say no more. Keep it moving. Right, got myself some Harpic uh, toilet cleaner. And this one is actually called Citrus Fresh. Citrus. Put my teeth in. Citrus. Citrus? Citrus Fresh. Yeah, that's that one. Now, normally I buy the Blue Ocean one, but I'm going to try the Citrus Fresh. I haven't... What is it with the S's? This... I'm going to try this one. Yeah, guys. Hello. Yeah. Let's try that one. See what it's like. Um, What else did I get? I got myself some Jelly Babies. Now, I don't remember what their version tastes like. But I shall try it anyway. This is your desperation pack. You know when you can't get the original? You always have a backup desperation pack. And that's that one. <coughs> Hello. Right, what else did I pick up? Ah, oh, got myself some Dreamies. Well, not me. <laughs> For the cats. Got them two packs of Dreamies. Um, that's why Tigger's hanging around. Oh. Tigger. Do you reckon it works? Yeah. Come. Oh, she's woken up now. Mm-hmm. Can you hear it? Blah. Chirp, 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 chirp. Yeah, then. Shall I give her one? You think she deserves it? I think she deserves it. She's, she's been really good. Oh. <laughs> Don't knock the camera. C try and come through without knocking the camera. Come on, yeah. So she knows she's not allowed to climb up me. She knows that. So she's kind of thinking like, how am I going to do this? Yeah, come and get it. Come. Yeah, there you go. Such a good girl. <laughs> like the other one. 
All right, you know what? Guys, excuse me one moment, please. Let me give her a few, and then that will keep her quiet. Because I think she's been a good girl. Here. Here you go. Right, let's get that out of the road before she comes back and demolishes the whole place. Just for the rest of the uh, treats. Right. So, I've also picked up um, this deep moisturising shea butter. And this is a hand pack. And, um, yeah, I've been buying the feet ones. And I thought, I need to give my hands some treats as well. Also, if you're even making up a Mother's Day um, hamper, you could even put that in there as well. And also, they had um, honey and almond foot pack as well. So, again, if you want to make up a Mother's Day parcel or hamper, this is a little treat for mum. So, yeah, they had those. I also put myself up... Uh, is antibacterial household wipes. Now, sometimes my panel does it, sometimes they don't. But when I see this one, I do like it. Um, I thought I'd pick this one up. And this one is the apple and apricot um, scent. Last but not least, what I picked up as well is some toilet blue because I like to see blue water in the toilet. So, yeah, picked up some toilet blue. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. That's my Poundland haul. Um, and what's new and what's sort of seasonal in the store. But um, I hope you, I need to help, I need to, yeah. Tigger is coming through, guys. Tigger is coming through. And when she comes through, cameras go flying. So uh, are you, look, guys, I'm going to just, I'm going to say goodbye because what's going to happen here, yeah, I know she's going to come and she's going to just boodoof and the whole, you guys will go sideways. I'll probably go this way and it won't be pretty. So I'm going to love you and leave you and say goodbye, guys. I will see you all on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay safe. And don't forget to click and subscribe. And I'll see you all real soon. Take care, guys. Bye.